Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I'm doing the mid-year book breakout tag. I'm sorry this video is going up a little late but uh, I'm pre-filming it so uh, it is the 24th of June today so I feel like this tag still counts you know. Anyways I have read 150 books so far this year which is pretty great but I've totally been slacking over the last like two months so hopefully I can get back into it and just start reading more especially physical books so I need to get on it. Also there are like two different options to do this tag like some has different questions than others and I kind of combined the questions together because there were some questions I wanted to answer so I added in like I think two extra ones that were in a different tag. I don't know it doesn't really make sense but <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, let's get to the questions. Question number one, best book you've read so far in 2017? Uh, I have a couple picks for this answer because I can never just have one. Uh, Dark Matter by B Blake Crouch. Oh my god, I loved this. It was just so amazing. So surprising too. I just really loved it. Um, Every Heart in a Doorway by Shona McGuire. Loved this amazing uh and also pucked off by helena hunting i actually thought this came out last year but i think it came out in like february and i like totally blanked yeah it came out in like february but i thought it came out like late last year i don't know why or maybe the physical copy came out in february but i read it in february i feel like anyways this is one of my favorite books of the year so far. Two other quick mentions. When It's Real by Erin Watts and Dear Agony by Georgia Cates. Love those two books as well. They were fantastic. Number two, best sequel you've read so far in 2017. And that is Dirty Souls by Karina Hale. I loved this. It was just amazing. I cried like four times. I loved it. I loved it. Also, I want to mention Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This was a fantastic conclusion to the Naturals series. Um, I loved this. It was amazing. A great, great ending and sequel. Number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. Uh, that's definitely The Chosen by J.R. Ward. I'm waiting for the paperback whenever that's going to come out, but I really want to read that. Number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. That has got to be for The Forbidden by J Jody Allen Lopez. I am so excited for this. I don't really know what it's about. It's just a romance and I want it, like now. Uh, this comes out, I think in August or September. August. Number five, the biggest disappointment. And for me, that is the, ro the Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. I really, really wanted to like this, but from all the good things I've heard about it, it was honestly a disappointment for me. I don't know. Um, it's a contemporary, uh, kind of inspired by Will and Kate. So I don't know, you may like this, but it just wasn't what I wanted it to be, I guess. Number six. Uh, biggest surprise, and I have two for this one, The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. This was a complete surprise for me. I loved it. I gave it four stars. It was, it was just awesome. It wasn't at all what I expected, and I bought this for like six dollars, and it was just so great. I loved it. And also another big surprise was A Walk in the Sun by Michelle Zink. I loved this. Like, it made me cry. It was just so great, and I wasn't expecting to love it that much, you know? Seven, favorite new author or new to you? I don't really feel like I've read a lot of books by one specific author this year that like was new to me or like that I've just discovered, but I'm gonna go with Rachel Vincent, I guess, because um, I was very much impressed by this book. So I definitely do wanna um, read her other books. I think she has like a Wear Cats series. I'll put the picture here if I remember. But I do want to read a couple other of her books. So yeah, I feel like she's 
a new favorite author, I guess. Eight, newest fictional crush. I'm gonna go with Nick uh, Ballantyne from I Knew You Were Trouble by Lauren Lane. I loved him. He was just awesome. Like, definitely a new crush. <laughs> Number nine, newest favorite character. I oddly don't really have a favorite new character. Um, but I am gonna go with Lauren, um, what is her last name? Lauren Williams from Pipe Dreams by Serena Bowen. I thought she was a great character, um, and I loved reading her story, so. 10. Book That Made You Cry. Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Do I really need to say more? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 11. Book That Made You Happy. I actually don't have an answer for this. I don't feel like I've read a really cute, happy book in a while. Actually, that's not true. Wait a second. I'm going to pick Shacky up for this question because um, this was pretty cute and it did make me happy when I was reading it. Like, it was quite adorable. So, yeah, 12. Most beautiful book that you bought or that you received. Uh, the Book Jumper by Mathilde Glaser. I never say it right. I'm so sorry. Um, this book is seriously just beautiful. I am obsessed with it. Um, also, Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage is just breathtaking as well. 13. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have three picks for this. The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. This came out like a year ago. Still have not read it. I am scared because it's massive. Um, a Little Life by Hanya Yanagishihara. Um, I've had this for like almost four years now. <laughs> also because it's massive, I need to read it. And Every Day by David Levithan. I've had this since like November, so I need to get on it soon. 14. Favorite book to film adaptation you saw this year? Definitely Fifty Shades Darker. Loved it, loved it, loved it. 15. Favorite video you've done so far this year? Uh, 50, sh like my Fifty Shades Darker video review. I love how that video turned out. I love everything about it. I loved filming it. I loved planning it. I loved editing it. Honestly, that was one of my favorite videos to do. And it has like, I think 2,000 views or something, which is amazing for me. Um, so that video I'm really, really proud of. And I really, really like it. So I'll link it down below if you're curious. And number 16, favorite book community member. Uh, blogger, booktuber, or bookstagrammer. I have two people I really, really love. Um, Lacey from Book Lovers for Life. I will link her Instagram down below. I love her Instagram. She's fantastic. And for booktuber, I'm going to say my favorite one. I've been really loving, obviously, Books and Lala, but also Books with Emily Fox. Um, she's fantastic. I love her videos as well. So yeah, that's it. I have to share with you guys. Let me know some of your favorite books that you've read so far this year and how many books you've been reading so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!